back to another day of Christmas. Y'all, we are almost there. It is the eve of Christmas Eve as y'all are watching this. Crazy! I hope y'all are enjoying this mess and having a great holiday season so far. Today I'm really excited because your girl is getting a protective style. I'm so, so excited. I'm not gonna tell y'all the exact style that I'm getting today. I'm gonna let y'all just guess that in the comments as we go along. We're gonna do like a cute, fun ground reveal tomorrow. So y'all gonna have to check back tomorrow for that. But today, I'm gonna take y'all along the process of prepping my scalp and my hair for this protective style. So prep is so important to me. Uh, the last time I got a protective style, it was Passion Twist. And I had a huge scalp reaction. My scalp was really unhappy and I ended up having to take it out after a week. My theory is that my scalp does not enjoy the rubber bands. Cause for Passion Twist, you have to use like rubber bands at the roots. The style that I'm doing today does not include any rubber bands whatsoever. So this is kind of like my little experiment to see if my scalp will be happier this way. But I am just generally really excited excited to just be cute oh we're gonna have some long hair oh i'm just so so excited so let's go ahead and get this prep done i'll meet y'all over in the shower to get this party started all right so when i prep my hair for a protective style i like to make sure that i'm giving my scalp and my hair a really nice deep cleanse and then replenishing it with a really nice balance of protein and moisture i like to keep it light and simple i don't really like to use any heavy products because i don't want there to be any buildup on my scalp but at the same time i need to make sure again that it's clean but also still nice and moisturized and happy i need an optimum environment for my scalp because like i said my scalp can get a little sensitive sometimes for protective styles so i like to always make sure that basically almost everything that i'm using is going to benefit my scalp throughout this wash. For cleansing, we're gonna go in with one of my absolute favorite shampoos. This is the Melanin Hair Care African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. The reason why I specifically chose this one for today is because it has tea tree oil in there. It's just packed with a ton of ingredients that are really great for the scalp and the hair at the same time. So we love that. This and the Way Detox Shampoo, top two favorite shampoos of all time. such a good cleanse and my scalp feels amazing i did like an extra bit of like scalp scrubbing and everything oh it feels so good now it's time to get into a mask so y'all already know the way i feel about this this is the rio geo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask perfect balance of protein and moisture i really wanted to include protein somewhere in this wash to make sure my hair gets a little like extra strength in order to go through like this whole protective style process i really actually want to stop calling it protective styles because it's really it's not super protective for your hair. It's actually not the greatest thing to do, but I love a good break for my hair. I love a good couple weeks of just waking up feeling snatched already, you know, with your hair already done and slick. Um, so I really actually don't approach a protective style with the mindset of like, oh, it's gonna protect my hair, it's giving my hair a break, no. I feel personally like it puts a little bit more stress, at least on my scalp, for sure, but I think on my hair as well. My hair is definitely accustomed to getting a fresh wash every week or every four to five days or so. So having a protective style in and going for so long without being able to wash it and add moisture back, definitely, I think, will put a little bit more stress on my hair, which is why I'm trying to make sure that we get this prep right, so. Protein and moisture mask, definitely needed. So I'm just gonna go ahead, leave this in for about 10 minutes or so, and then rinse it fully out before we then get into styling. All right, so we're fresh out of the shower now. We gotta quickly go ahead and blow dry this. My favorite thing ever to blow dry my hair is the Rev Air. This is the new one, small black one. I'm really curious to see how straight we can get my hair to look today. So I'm actually thinking about using this on full power, full tension, full heat, on the highest it can go. We are gonna be protecting these curls at all costs though. I do have my heat protectors and all of that. Uh, but first I wanna start with a scalp serum. This is the Way Scalp Serum. I really love this. It's nice and moisturizing. It's not oily or anything, but it gets the job done for my scalp. So I'm just gonna put a good layer of this all over. It's actually really been helping me in between washes, like since I've been working out more consistently and stuff. I just love it. And I noticed that my scalp itches a lot less when I use this, which is going to be huge for when I get my protective style. Just trying to make sure we got this everywhere. 
Right, scalp is taken care of, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and section out my hair for the blow dry. I'm just gonna actually spray a little bit of water back into my hair, just a little bit. I don't want it to be super wet, but still want it to have like a good amount of moisture in there. And then for the styling, we're literally only gonna use two products. So this is a heat protector by Jisoo. It says it protects hair from heat up to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. And it also contains a UV filter to help prevent sun damage. I also love the way this smells. And then we're also gonna use this by JVN. This is their blowout styling milk. I have never used a blowout styling milk before, but I figured Hey, this is the best time for me to give it a try. Really the goal here is to just make sure my hair is nice and moisturized without like having too much like heavy products on it. So I really like lightweight products that will provide moisture and also protect from the heat from the blow drying. That's basically it. We're keeping this very nice and simple. So I'm just gonna go in with this blowout styling milk first. It's like a nice lightweight creamy kind of product. I hope this is like not too much. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna section it out into the smaller sections that I'm gonna blow dry in and apply heat protectant as we go. Ooh, I think I may have used a little bit too much product because it's feeling a little sticky and gross. Also, it did not get fully straight. I mean, it is dry, but it just feels like really sticky. So I'm gonna use a little bit less product as we go. Oh yeah, so this is coming out a lot better, barely using any of the blowout milks. So I think I'm just gonna use the heat protectant going forward and that's it. Also dries a lot quicker that way as well. Also I just noticed on the back of here, it says apply one to two pumps in hands and rub together, disperse evenly all over damp hair. So I use this very incorrectly. The blowout styling milk, I was supposed to just do one to two pumps and apply it all over my head. I did about five to six or seven pumps just for my bottom half of my hair. So it's my fault. Here we are. After that trim, I was so convinced that like, oh yeah, I, I you know, we went back nice and short. There is a lot of length here still. And I'm shook about it. I do see a couple of like little sticky outy pieces that I think I might trim. Just really quick. Okay, maybe we'll just do this one and that's it. Okay, okay, I gotta stop. Cause. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is apply my Brie Ogeo Strengthening Treatment Oil. Just a little bit of it, more kind of focused towards my ends. Give them a little extra love. And boom. We are good to go, honey. This scalp and hair are prepped and ready for this protective style. I don't know, I'm really kind of thinking in January, maybe we can try flat ironing her because the temptation is real. So we'll see. I was thinking about December, but I don't think it's gonna be this, well, it's definitely not gonna be this month because I'm getting my style. Go ahead and comment below any guesses as to what kind of protective style y'all think that I'm getting. I'll give you a hint, it's braids but it's a certain type of braids, a certain style of braids that I have never actually done before. So go ahead, comment below, let me know what you think. I really gotta go, so I'm gonna see y'all same time, same place tomorrow for the final braid reveal. Bye!